St David's Hall was packed every night of the competition to listen to the 25 singers each giving a testing 20-minute programme of operatic highlights, concert works and leader. It was a busy week for the distinguished international jury and the winner, the popular Swedish mezzo, Katarina Carneas. But it's not just about winning prizes, it's about learning from your colleagues. And with such a high standard among the singers this year, I think we all learned something. The bonus for some of them is to take part in masterclasses given by the distinguished singers on the jury. A few of us lucky members of the public get to eavesdrop. These are like gold dust. And no wonder with such starry masters to learn from. Giving her first televised masterclass, the great Australian diva, Dame Joan Sutherland. These are called masterclasses. I hate the term, what can you do with someone in half an hour? You can only confuse them. <laughs> Learning to sing is a very ongoing thing, and you have to be at people all the time. The Romanian-born soprano Ileana Kotrubash was one of the most touching of actresses. What is this fashion? All the girls in, in, in pants. <laughs> Are we singing Charlotte in pants, or uh, it's uh, Damnation de Faust? How can you? Mm -hmm. right? no, you look right. beautiful. It's really gorgeous, but I've said it. <laughs> and with quite a different kind of experience, the Finnish baritone Tom Krauser. I like to be able to speak with the competitors and, and, and try to give some advice. I wish I, in my own youth, could have had the good advice from some older uh, colleagues. It might, might have been very helpful for me. So what advice will Ileana Kotrubash give Australian soprano Claire Gormley? very little phrases or uh, propositions, they are smaller. Uh, what is it about in this uh, aria? Um, this aria, Marjenka is lamenting. She thinks that her lover, her beloved, is, um, has sold her off. And she doesn't know that her, it's kind of convoluted, but she doesn't know that her beloved actually knows that she is the daughter of the father who she sold him to. <laughs> <laughs> Better not to do it. No, only that style of teaching and um, coaching for me suits me enormously, and I, and I tend to thrive on that kind of bullying. <laughs> I mean, bullying's not the right word. It's but you know that style of you know going at it. because of the rhythm. Yeah. It's legato. And it's very happy because it's like, like a, it's nothing like a prayer, but again, we are talking to God. And I think it's, it's more, more spiritual, even with this joy inside, yeah? Laudamus te, glorificamus te, adoramus te. Yes, it's, 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 it's bigger and it's a little bit further. All this yeah. arch, yeah, it's much bigger. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely voice. Mm -hmm. I like you very much. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> again, please, okay. yeah, sing further, further, further. Mm -hmm. One of the 
big things that I'm constantly reminded of when I work with someone like that is the level to which a singer must be specific about what they want to express and how. And that's one thing that I'm always being reminded that I forget to do. I tend to be, as a singer, a little too general sometimes in, in sort of an expressive wash over instead of being a little bit more text specific and um, a little bit more mindful of musical phrasing integral to the text. Virtuosity of the of the 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 it's also the pleasure of singing yeah, to do yeah. this. It's <laughs> like you are you are uh, you are writing the music now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mozart. <laughs> 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 the last uh, mm -hmm. phrase, uh, please. Glory. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you. Dame Joan Sutherland is famous for her vocal fireworks, but when she began singing, her voice was very different. First of all, I, I, I sang as a mezzo because my mother was a mezzo soprano and that was the music that was predominantly in the house. And fortunately, she did quite a bit of coloratura singing, so I had a few mezzo coloratura things to sing. But um, when I started learning, I was told I was a dramatic soprano and I thought, goody, now I can sing like Flagstad. But ultimately, Richard, my husband, heard me singing around the house and said, you know, what, what's all the top of that voice doing not being used? And I said, what do you mean the top of my voice? I can't sing above a C, you know, a high C. He said, rubbish, and proved to me that I could. And how? Here's German soprano Anja Kamper. <laughs> Make sure that the pitch is there before you go for it. Prepare it. Mm -hmm. Don't just go for it and yes. hope you get it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's what you might call approximate. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. OK. It's that support that you should have. <laughs> It was a bit 
wide open mouthed, but um, at, at least the note was clean. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've got to prepare the phrases and know where the phrases are going and know that you start the phrase mm. so that you can get to the top without Sometimes sharpening or flattening or wobbling or whatever. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes I don't remember these things. <laughs> <laughs> it's my temperament. <laughs> I, 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 I can't stop me sometimes. I know it's a problem sometimes because I know, I have you, to control me. You, you must hold on to that because mm -hmm. we don't like off-key singing. I think it's most important for a singer to have somebody to keep an eye on them. Um, we don't always sing the way we think ourselves we are singing. We don't hear ourselves the same as other people hear us. And to have um, um, a good musician, um, a person who perhaps understands singing, perhaps who, who is good with languages, um, someone to keep an eye on what you're doing because people you, you do get into bad habits you you can very easily develop bad habits <laughs> continue then hmm? mm -hmm. and and think i mean they're, they're wonderful phrases and you can you can sing them but make sure that they're clean always there's no yeah. point in singing coloratura if it's not clean mm -hmm. I mean, can, it, it's wonderful to drop the jaw. It's wonderful to have a relaxed jaw because mm. the, the bottom jaw is the only part that really moves. I mean, you can, you can shape your lips, but this is the part that should be relaxed. Oh. And it where it, it's as though you're putting the note there that way mm. instead of allowing it to, to, to work for you. Mm -hmm. You've got to put it there. I, I, I grant that you have to place the notes. I'm just saying that you must have it in your head before you get yes, there. Yes. But, but do you have to sort of drop the mouths quite so much? It's not, it's not particularly pretty sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't want you on the, by the same count to be smiling and, and, yeah. and stretch your mouth <laughs> this way, like I say, in a horizontal position, because your mouth is is round. Your, your, the, the cavity of your, of your mm. mouth is, is there to help you project the sound. Yes. And you, you need to open your mouth, but uh -huh. I have to drop down quite so much. Go back to where we start, started mm -hmm. again. Hmm? Technique, technique. What about the emotion? Ah, emotion. That's almost a dirty word. We have to, yes, we have to dramatise the piece that we're singing, and we have to make the audience feel the emotion. But we mustn't get too emotional ourselves when we're singing, or we'll just cut out. We'll only force our sound, we'll, we'll forget what we're doing, we'll, we'll fall into very bad habits. You have to control the emotions. You have to project emotion without becoming really emotionally involved yourself. You have to understand the emotions, and you have to project them through the music, the sound you make. Barra turns next, Tom Krauser and Davide Damiani. The problem with master classes is that they are generally rather short. When I saw that he was going to sing the Champagne aria from Don Giovanni Fincandalvino, since it's, it's Giovanni's role I have sung an enormous amount, and uh, I thought, well, I would probably be able to help him sing this aria better and show him the ropes, as it were. You don't want to upset the singer in his technique, but you can give good hints. If there are some blatant faults, if you know how it should be done, then you can give good advice. Get the sound out to the audience. Think of the words, keep the line going. That's been a common theme in this Cardiff Sing of the World competition, supported by British Petroleum. Thank you, that's excellent. Very good. Very fine. Um, I think one thing that one might do is try to get more line. Mm -hmm. You know, think, think in, because it, it, get, tends to get it tends to get choppy. It gets very easily gets choppy, this piece. So I have to really try to, and uh, really try to think 
think long phrase is always legato, legato, mm -hmm. legato, legato. It makes it much easier. Yes. And uh, okay, and then try to be very relaxed. You know that you don't feel I have to make it happen. I I have to think I am very free. I mean, when we think of Don Giovanni here, he's he's in a he's in a very up. He's uh, and he gives instructions to his servant. He uh, says, "Let's get." He's, he, he's going to have a, an orgy, and. Uh, and he says, so he sends his, his servant out and says, he find any good-looking chicks out in the streets? <laughs> you know, bring them all in. <laughs> and then we'll give them a lot of, of liquor and we'll get them all drunk. And, and we'll have wild dancing, all different kinds. And I expect to make love to at least 10 women tonight. So, I mean, so you th his mood is, you know, he's full of it and it's sort of a Dionysian kind of outburst that he has, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And so, but we must try not to, to force it. Uh, finca da vino, calla la testa. But think rather, okay, it's all flowing through me, you know. So, finca da vino, calla la testa, organ festa fa preparar. Try to be very loose and relaxed. That you'll find that that's much, much easier. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to think that you have to give absolutely maximum voice from the start. Mm. Just think, I'm very free, very free in my throat. My tone is, is slender and high. And I just let it, f f let it flow. It'll grow on its own. That one doesn't start forte, fortissimo. Yes. You know, take it easy and let it come. Right. I think, I think that okay. might be That's right. a good approach. <coughs> At least I have found that it helps a lot, you know. OK, let's try it once more. Yes. Well, one is always learning. I'm still learning, you know. And, uh, uh, and this is uh, very often you hear sort of older singers as I'm finally beginning to grasp it. I'm now I'm really knowing, unfortunately, my voice is gone, but now I really know how to sing, you know. And so one has the feeling of... And so many times, I've had it in my life all the time, I'm constantly finding new things and saying, well, now I know, it. now I know. But then half a year later I say, but yes, that was okay, but now, now I know, you see. And it goes like that, and I've heard it from many of my colleagues. So it seems to be an eternal kind of learning process which is a blessing, of course. Give them, give them your eyes, you know, that you don't... I mean, OK, you have Le Porello here, perhaps, and, but you have, to, you have to get it out. You know, you can't sing, Finca da vino, but you have, Finca da vino, calla la testa, ora festa fa preparar. And then you can change, se troi piazza. But you have, to, you have to get it out. In this, this yeah, place. I mean, you have, you have the, your audience and you have the... The, the gallery, the balcon, whatever up there, so you, it, has to, it has to go out. Mm -hmm. you're, too, you're a bit too closed, you know. I understand. You mm -hmm. know, so your face, they have to have your eyes sort of say, yeah, I'm going to have much. them all, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> to... And we get them all drunk and then, uh, you know, sort of <laughs> like that. Okay? More open. Yes. Yeah, yeah, your, your face, your face has to be out there, you know. But it's, it's very good. I, I think it felt better now singing it also with the line. How did you feel? Yeah, better. Yeah. L lighter. Lighter, oh. lighter, yeah. And so we must, mustn't ever try to... Mm -hmm. This easel gets kind of... You hack it, so you know. To, but you always think smooth line. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 okay. Like a aria. So just, huh? Like a aria. Yeah, aria. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just let it flow. And, uh, and of course you have different... You have... And then maybe a crescendo... Then comes something else. Different textures also, you know. You have this very legato. Ed io frattanto dall'altro canto con questa quella buon amore di buon amore di buon amore di alle balista. Yes. If you I can have try to play, to I have to play. Play, play. Be very playful. Yeah. yeah. Very free, very playful, very full of yourself and your incredible virility. You know, ten women per night. <laughs> Nothing for me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Isn't it a quarter or something? Yes. Yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean it is. It's all like. Tar. Tar. Yes, tar. Tar. Yeah. yeah, you can't. I mean, it's like, like you don't quite you go into expression before you actually finish singing. You have to. Yeah. It's too little. Mm -hmm. Because that's the last thing you tell them, you know. Or you tell Leporello, but really the audience. De Vamentar. You hear me? You know? And this, I'm going to have you all, yeah. <laughs> yes. Like that. Okay, very good. Lovely. Good advice for Davide Damiani from Italy. <laughs> 